Hello, beautiful humans. Welcome to Woke Culture Daily. Today is Wednesday. I'm Shan, July 1st. Welcome to July, my friends. So let's go ahead and jump right in to you guys' cards for today. We're going to go ahead and start with our air sign people. Okay, so starting with our air sign people, Gemini, you guys have the queen of wands in the reverse. Okay, so for those of you who have an evil, (laughs) I'm not going to say evil because she's not evil. She's just sad. Um, A female boss who's a bit of a jerk, you know what I'm saying? That's going to end up being uh, a big issue for you guys today. I'm not even going to front with this here. But the thing that's important for my Gemini people, um, if we want to internalize this and have this just look at yourself, today is going to be a day where the biggest challenge for you guys is going to be to believe in yourself and your own ability. This says to me, this is a self-perception kind of thing. Again, if it's your boss, please don't let your boss get to you and make you feel incompetent because that's kind of like the vibe that I get with this. It's more or less like a, 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 it could be a mom too. It's a female figure, potentially a fire sign person that makes you feel incompetent or this could just be yourself. The whole purpose of this is knowing, Gemini, that you have everything within you to accomplish that which you seek to accomplish and to believe in yourself and not to let other people's issues to uh, reinforce negative false beliefs that you have about yourself. Now, Libra, we have the lovers, oh my goodness. So with this, Libra, oh, this is so good. Cause just looking, thinking about you guys' energies from you know, up until now, this is kind of like the midpoint of the week for you guys. This is more or less the integration of your masculine and feminine energies within yourself or balancing your heart and mind, meaning that what you guys are doing forward from this point is from a balanced place. So it's the ideal space for a Libra person. It's more or less um allowing your emotions to lead the way in a practical sense so you're only going in the direction of things that bring you joy but you're using your mental space to help you make decisions right so it's more or less channeling your desires in other words so whatever it is that you guys are seeking to accomplish from this day forward, which is a great day because it's the first day of the month, which means that you guys took my advice, which makes Princess very happy, moving right along. (laughs) But it's making um, goals set on what your heart desires and using your mind to help that up by going forward in a practical sense. So I look at this in the sense of a confirmation that you guys are headed in the right direction and also um, to make sure that you continue going forward in the month like this. Now for my Aquarius people, we have the sun in the reverse, which means for today, and I felt this vibe for you guys all week, it's a sense of doing too much. You know what I mean? It's kind of smiling and gritting through things, but it's you guys being at the point of burnout, you know? And what I say for Aquarius today, you guys, oh wow, okay. I just heard enough is enough. For Aquarius, it's more or less coming to a point today where it's like enough is enough. It's a lot of sacrifices that are being made that aren't reciprocal or beneficial to you. It's uh, coming to the realization today that a lot of what it is that you guys are channeling energy into isn't reciprocal. You're not getting anything back. It's like, it's just kind of, expelling your energy but today is a day where you need to ask yourself why like why are you doing everything that you're doing is it ideal to is it ideal to look happy or to be happy is uh the theme for today for my aquarius people now moving on to my water signs for cancer we have the four of pentacles so cancer this is (laughs) This is a fear of lack um, for today. Um, For some of you guys, things may be going so well for you guys that you're kind of afraid to upset the apple cart. So it's kind of holding yourself back in a sense. So there could be something that you need or something that um, you want, 
right? And I mean, this could literally be, I don't know, going out to dinner or something like that or or ordering Thai for lunch, you know what I mean? And you guys have saved money to a certain point and you've been wise with your money, but it's a fear of spending it. And you don't want to stay in this energy too long, Cancer, because uh, that comes to, you know, my typical four of pinnacles explanation where things get off kilter and you end up stagnating yourself. So I like to say with money, it's the approach you want to have is when you work for a paycheck or any amount of money, you want to save a little, you want to spend a little, and you want to give a little. Because if you, you know, hit all of those notes, that keeps you in balance, right? Because money is meant to be spent, but it's not supposed to be spent until you broke, you know what I'm saying? But then you don't want to hoard money either. And for others of you, this can be an energy type of thing. So that can be applied to any facet of life with any form of energetic currency. If we're not talking about literal, literal money, you want to save a little, you want to spend a little, and then you want to give a little, you know what I mean? So if we're looking at that as time with people, it's like you need to spend some time to yourself to take care of yourself. Then you want to enjoy yourself and have a little bit of fun and then you want to help other people who can't really help themselves so helping a friend move or you know something along those lines where it's not necessarily something where you're getting something back it's just the fact that you're helping someone do something that they couldn't because you know it's a little extra little land yet so that's something to keep in mind cancer now pisces you guys have the world in the reverse so pisces there's some unfinished business that's gonna pop up for you guys today um and this could be something buku mundane. I really feel like this is more or less a heads up from some things that have been skipped prior to. Um, more or less like a nod, like, hey, don't get too comfortable. You know what I mean? So if there's any little loose ends that you guys have that uh, are left over from June, like maybe some things you guys started working on that you haven't quite wrapped up, or some stuff you can get a head start on, this is more or less a sign to do that. For others of you, um, this is a statement for Pisces that July is your month, Pisces. Whatever it is that you guys have been wanting to execute or to launch, July is the month for you guys to step out and do that. I just feel what needs to be wrapped up is what has held you back up to this point. Now, Scorpio, we have Temperance, I'm so proud of you, Scorpio. <laughs> I can't remember which all card was from yesterday, but it was uh, something that was talking about a, a sense of imbalance, you know? But you guys snapped back and got it together. So with temperance being here, it's more or less understanding that a state of balance isn't something that you achieve and you're just there it's gonna be a constant work every day. So I feel with my Scorpios, you guys have kind of shaken back. I always say an example for um, balance, much like what I said with cancer. I love how with the elements, how all of you guys all, you know, reflect each other. Like the, the vibration of the energy is the same. With all of the water signs, it's all talking about balance. So with Scorpio, it's understanding a give and take just like I said for Pisces as well as with cancer it's understanding that you give a little <laughs> you know what I'm saying you save a little and you enjoy a little and as long as you keep you know those things in balance your life is in balance if ever you start focusing on one thing way too much or yeah you guys had the ten of wands yesterday so if you don't allow people to help you, if you don't l let other people into your space or into your process, that's when things kind of get off kilter in so many words. But it's looking good for Scorpio. So it's almost like you guys got an aha and more or less understood um, or beginning to understand that on today, that people are here to help and you don't have to bear burdens alone in so many words. So you guys are delegating the delegators as my friend likes to say. Next, our fire signs, Leo, you guys have the wheel. So for you guys on today, I feel that whether it's an energetic feeling 
or it's an actual event, you guys are gonna see that things are starting to turn in your favor on today. For others of you, I do feel that this is kind of, um, it's some sort of an ending or a transition. It does have a lot to do in the bigger scheme of things of us, you know, switching months and things of the sort with this being the first of uh, July. But I feel that uh, there's a level of needing to understand, Leo, that we're all going to be subject to the wheel. I feel in the bigger scheme of things that you guys are, of course, because this is upright, you guys are at the top of the wheel, but it's needing to understand that everything is a season. So things are going good now, things are turning in your favor now. However, it's like everyone gets a turn at being on top. So it's to not find your worth and value and identity and things going good. It's knowing that your worth, value, and identity does not change even if things aren't going bad. But I feel that this is either an epiphany you guys are gonna have or it's gonna be an experience that you guys encounter on today that's gonna get you to understand that. That situations and circumstances don't define who you are. You get to define who you are despite what it is that's happening. Now with my Aries, we have the five of swords in the reverse. So for you guys, it's, um, y'all had the, the success card yesterday, but this feels almost like a shallow victory. So whatever it is that you guys were successful at yesterday, um, and that's what I kind of warned y'all against. It's not necessarily saying, and of course it depends on you personally, it's not necessarily saying that this is a hollow victory, but I think it may be similar of what I said with Leo here, that you guys thought that achieving this or accomplishing this particular thing was going to do something for you. But if we're still thinking the same way, it's not going to do anything for us. So, and I can't remember whose reading I said this in. I think it was Sagittarius in June. I know it's July now, but um, in June, I said something along the lines of, um, it, uh, with accomplishments or something. Like, if, if you're looking to get a certain job title or make a certain amount of money and think when I finally do this, then I'll be okay and I'll feel better. What life will teach you is that once you achieve that, you're still going to think and feel the same way that you did prior to. Our situations and our circumstances change in our life, but we as people don't change unless we do the work to change. So you don't want to put the effort and the energy into an external state thinking that's gonna change your inner state. And I feel that's what the thing is, because it's almost like you guys did succeed at something, but it, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel as fulfilling as you thought it would, you know? And it's kind of now you're, you're questioning your motives of like, well, what did I do all of this for? But I feel for you guys, it's a need to still come back to center of knowing that who you are and what you are isn't defined by external circumstances. And until that's understood, um, you kind of keep going around the mulberry bush in so many words. And then for others of you, I feel it's more or less like discrediting. Like you achieve something and feel that it's still not good enough. And that's more or less something that you guys are gonna be confronting on today for my sages. Whoa, that's interesting. For my Sagittarius, you guys have the Five of Wands. So I feel for Sag today, you guys may be dealing with conflicts in the workplace. Um, and you guys' energy has felt this whole week. For Sagittarius, it's felt very aggressive. Not necessarily saying from you guys, but it's almost like in Sag's external environment, it feels like this is almost like a powder keg, like something that's been kind of building up. So Sag, watch for that because I feel that something may end up uh, coming to the head on today, but it feels like petty conflicts though. Like it's something where, mm, how can I say it? I don't wanna say it's just Sag because it, it feels it could go either or. Only a Sagittarius would be able to say whether it's you or someone else. 
but it feels like somebody is dealing with stuff with themselves and they're projecting it onto other people. So this inner conflict is extern like is uh, being externalized into one's relationships and connections with people. So this could be someone that you guys are working with that's doing that or um, this could be you guys. You, you could only really tell for yourself, but it's almost like hairpin trigger, you know, being domineering, trying to be controlling of a situation. But the truth is, is that it's a person feels out of control of themselves. So they're trying to control their external environment. That's either Sage or somebody that's in Sage's vicinity that's doing this. You know what I mean? So the thing that I would say for Sagittarius, whether it's you or it's people around you, is to be the level-headed one that diffuses it. It's like you want to be the bigger person in all of this. You know what I mean? This is so interesting. Now for my earth sign people, Capricorn, you guys have the two of swords in the reverse. What's important for Capricorns on today is you guys need to come back to yourself. I feel like Caps have kind of, it's almost like uh, spending too much time focusing on stuff going on outside of you. So it could be a really busy day for you guys. But if you start feeling overwhelmed, almost like you're getting away from yourself, it's a need to kind of come back to center. And that's how you guys are going to gain clarity. It's it's not expecting anyone outside of you or something outside of you to give you the sense of clarity or peace. It's a need to come back to yourself. Because I feel for caps on today, um, it's a level of stagnation, confusion, not really knowing how to move forward. And it's looking to your external environment to give you a hint of what you need to do, but you really need to come back to yourself and tune back in with your emotions. For Taurus, we have the hanged man. Dog, this is so funny how these line up like this, dude. This is more or less your sacred space. So Capricorn, if you can learn anything from Taurus, and I would even say if you want to learn from some other signs, what the Wheel of Fortune that uh, Leo has, it's understanding that we don't have control over what happens. The only thing we have control over is how we respond to what happens in so many words. But for Taurus, it's relinquishing oneself to that energy. It's understanding that not all things in life can be controlled and it's not letting yourself kind of uh, get thrown off balance or fret about it because you're consciously aware that you don't have control over what happens but it's trusting the universe, it's trusting your own ability to know that you're equipped and you're qualified to handle whatever situation befalls your path on today. So this is almost operating from center, Taurus, for uh, July 1st. And I say whatever energies are popping out with this being the first day of the month is nine times out of 10 gonna be a constant like back and forth battle um, for the month of July. So for Taurus for today and going throughout the rest of the month, it's imperative that you guys know that when things get out of control to come back to center. Now with my um, Virgo people, we have the Eight of Cups. For today, Virgo, you guys are gonna have to, well, I'm not gonna say you're gonna have to, because who am I to tell you what to do? But what we're talking about for Virgos on today is you guys kind of sorting through things and being clear on what it is that's no longer serving you. For what you guys' plans are for the month, what it is you guys are accomplishing for this month, it's taking into account what is in service to the end goal and what is a disservice to the end goal. So you guys clarifying what it is that um, you're trying to achieve or you know, even your own inner happiness, it's really, kind of sorting through things or from the work that you guys have done in the month of June of really seeing what's no longer serving you. And today is more or less a day, beginning the month of getting rid of things that are not contributing to your overall progress anymore. So it's more or less you guys taking your power back on today, my wonderful Virgo people. But that's what I have for you guys for July 1st, my wonderful people. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love your freaking face and I will see you guys soon.